So as far as women goes, it's not safe, right? Viralization side effects will occur with Proviron. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907water.com. Coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant carbon. Coupon code Russo as well as Young LA. Check out my source list in the comments below for discounts. Welcome back to Peducation. Today, we are going to be going over Proviron, otherwise known as Mesterlone. So one methyl dihydrotestosterone, otherwise known as Proviron, is owned by Bayer currently. And this was developed in 1934. Very old compound and was used for muscle wasting. It was actually used for male fertility, believe it or not. And overall, this is a very nuanced compound that gets a lot of attention. And I'm going to go into my personal experience with it as well as kind of how it slots in in the upper echelon of pro bodybuilding. So the androgenic reading is 30 to 40 with the anabolic being 100 to 150 with the baseline of 100 100 as testosterone. So you can see that it's not very androgenic. So in a nutshell, basically Proviron is a way to destroy your SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. So it has a binding affinity for all plasma binding proteins. For example, if you would inject a gram of testosterone, just bioidentical testosterone, your SHBG would creep up to combat it to cause a lower free T scale because the body obviously doesn't want a crazy androgenic environment with all these androgens binding to places they should not be. And SHBG is the fail safe as well as the transporter to move the hormones around the body. But when SHBG is bound to your testosterone, it is not you're not feeling it essentially you're not gonna feel it that's why people you know when i get messaged at russo lifts you can dm me there i always ask well what's your free testosterone because normally people will get total testosterone check and be like oh my total testosterone's like 700 and i'll be like okay what's your free testosterone that's probably the issue and it's like 280 so they're only feeling the 280 shbg has everything else bound up this is always a issue with standard testosterone administration trt hrt shbg needs to be kept in check at therapeutic dosages the weird thing is as you start blasting and blasting and blasting shbg may crash on its own because the body is overwhelmed and or if you're using synthetic androgens such as SARMs other pro hormones that SHBG can't bind with it also causes a crash because it's not recognized as a bioidentical hormone by SHBG thus it can't be bound up. Tired of abusing PEDs blindly for years? Want to get optimized by a licensed medical professional that's monitoring your blood work and biomarkers monthly? Want to be able to call in whenever you want to speak to a licensed medical professional that is well versed on hormones? Check out my TRT company in the description below. Elevate Alternative is the OG in the game over 20 years of experience. And it's more than just TRT, TRT plus all FDA compounding pharmacy items available. And overall, there is no money taken unless you sign up, you get a free initial consultation. And I have redone the website. The website is officially online intake form completely streamlined making it the easiest way to get started check out the pinned comment in the description below so as far as estrogen side effects it is not aromatized at all so you don't have to worry about any estrogen activity and no gyno concerns there as far as cholesterol it's for sure going to lower your hdl raise your ldl and overall you're gonna have the standard synthetic androgen side effects of cholesterol rbc possibly being elevated but this is a very quote-unquote safe oral as long as you understand the damage you're potentially doing by crashing your shbg when i was younger in this i thought that oh i want to keep my shbg flatlined all the time because that means i would be the most sensitive i'd have the most active androgens working and that is true however you don't want this overly androgenic environment especially in a longevity concern case or a health span case you want a healthy amount of shbg to transport your androgens to different tissues and or 
not be just randomly binding with intestines and shit. You want to keep SHBG on the lower end, but you don't want it to completely crash. So the weird thing about proviron, and this is why it was used in male fertility, apparently it can increase sperm output, but it is not in the therapeutic dosages, pretty much suppressive at all, right? Most synthetic androgens, you're like, oh, I'm going to suppress my HBTA, not with this compound. Again, this is this weird compound that I'm about to get into what the pros do with it. So therapeutic dosage of Proviron via Anabolics 11th edition is 25 milligrams three times a day, whereas the athletic administration is 50 to, I've seen over 200 milligrams a day, depending on how crazy some of these gurus are. So as far as women goes, it's not safe right viralization side effects will occur with proviron you're basically you know it's a dht right so you want to stay away from this compound even if your coach recommends it your voice starts cracking boom it's gone pretty quickly after the cracking starts so i would not mess with proviron so the half-life of proviron is estimated to be 12 to 13 hours so this is a long lasting oral that you will build up a serum concentration with that's pretty much the general overview of proviron now let's go into my personal thoughts so i've done proviron i've noticed big libido increases when dosing proviron because i get more free testosterone going i utilize proviron only one time to try it in my younger years on a test cycle i think of 350 to 5 hundred a week i definitely felt more sensitive to the testosterone if i did not add it in but i was trading off having my shbg completely crash so it's like you if you are doing blood work and you're seeing that your shbg is like on the lower end that's where you want to keep it if it's in the single digits i mean you can do that temporarily which I'll get into real quick. The top of the IFBB has this weird obsession with Proviron, my two cents, where they'll do this astronomical cycle astronomical right crazy cycle talking like you know over 1.5 grams of gear some of these guys are running then they'll add in shit tons of proviron right so you would think at 1.5 plus grams of gear a week your shbg is going to be fucked well some of the top gurus again their cycles have leaked and it's been shown that <laughs> They add in tons of proviron right before the show to make sure the SHBG is absolute flatline zero. And apparently you can get a better cosmetic look from doing this while obviously causing way more damage. But that's really how proviron has stuck around right it's been used to acutely flatline shbg just rapidly and then paired with an insane blast that makes you more sensitive and that could give you a quote-unquote better cosmetic temporary look for when you're going on stage and that's how proviron slots in in today's age as this weird compound that's very nuanced now if you're on trt hrt you could theoretically add in a little bit of proviron to keep your shbg at the bottom of the normal reference range, right? I would not recommend crashing it. You want some SHBG in there to transport stuff around. You don't want to crash it, but as far as all gas, no brakes, top of performance, this is one of those things that the top pro gurus will add in tons of proviron right before the show to make sure that the massive blast they're on is I guess like we can throw up the Pokemon, Andrew. Super effective, right? Do you want to crash SHBG? No. No, you don't want to crash SHBG. SHBG is not the complete enemy, but you definitely want to keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get too high. I hope you guys found this informative. I will see you guys in my next video.